This is Bill North of the Florida Weekend Warriors. The topic of this video is should you trade in your old Super Duty for a brand new one? Have one on order. It came in today. Can't wait to pick it up. Wish me luck at the dealership. We'll see you out there. Trading in a 2013 Super Duty. It's a diesel. I paid $48,453. It's in great shape. Has 87,500 miles on it. Still looks pretty good. Got the Leo topper. It's got a sprayed in bed liner. The inside's still pretty clean. Hopefully they give me a good trade. I ordered my truck from Brandon Ford on 11-17. And today is uh, February 23rd, so it finally came in. I picked Brandon Ford because of the largest Ford dealership in the country, and I figured I'd have more points. So wish me luck when I get inside the dealership. And hopefully um, I don't pay too much for this thing. See ya. Well, three hours later, we finally have it. Looks cool. A lot nicer than the old truck. It's quieter, and I think it even rides better. I see why everybody loves this moonroof. It's awesome. It's a good looking truck. Even got chrome on the tailpipe. Bed liner. Sweet looking. Had five miles on it when I when I drove it off the lot. I'll tell you how the deal went. So this is how the deal works. You place an order. There's the MSRP of my order, 67880 when I place the order. When the truck comes in, you have 72 hours to do a deal. You put nothing down. So I finally got the sticker issued. And you can see on the sticker, the sticker is higher than when I ordered it. It's 69175 versus 67880. Well, we started off at 75321 out the door. Of course, it was kind of hard to negotiate when everyone's looking at your truck on the sales floor and it's the only one they have to sell other than this big dually that they had. Kelly Blue Book said that the average trade-in was 37075, but I found that hard to believe since the truck was 47,000 brand new and the NADA uh, was much lower. They only wanted to give me 23000 for my old truck. But I brought this to the salesman. I showed him I had an offer from CarMax from 30800 and another one from AutoNation for 31000 Having these printouts sure did help in the sales negotiation process. Well, after getting, almost walking out a couple times, claiming I was going to sell my car to CarMax, we finally negotiated a trade-in of twenty seven. So my check ended up being 46000 I wasn't too discouraged because a lot of the dealers are adding quite a heavy premium to the sticker, and they only added 1300 Overall, I definitely recommend Brandon Ford. It took 100 days from the day I ordered it to the day I picked it up. I hope you found this video helpful, and please subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on our next adventure. See ya!